This is Gemara Baba Kama Daf Chof. Hey, and we pick it up from the Mishnah on the bottom of Chof Dalid Amid Vez. Continues the Mishnah really picking up from, I don't know, about a week and a half ago, the discussion of Shor Hamazik Bershos Hanizik. Says the Mishnah, Shor Hamazik Bershos Hanizik, he said, What is the case? where the animal of the damager is in the property of the damagee, and of course it's going to be an obligation. Says the Mishnah Ketzah, Nogach, Nogach, Noshach, Rovatz, Boat. Bershos HaRav, Bimishalim Chazin, as we've seen many times, pushing, biting, kicking, all in Bershos HaRav, you have to be Chazin, but Bershos HaNizik, if the same action is done, Bershos HaNizik, Rabbi Tarfin Oimer, Nezek Shalem, Rechachamim Oimrim, Chatsi Nezek. And this debate between Rav Tarfin and the Chachamim is really going to be the bulk of today. Where does Rav Tarfin get that Shara Mazik Bershos Nezek is going to pay Nezek Shalem, even though the same act damage done in Rishos Arabim pays Chatsi Nezek? And where the Chachamim know that it pays Chatsi Nezik? So the Mishnah begins the discussion. Amr Hem Rav Tarfin says Rav Tarfin again who holds Nezik Shalim. Oma b'makush ha'hakal al-shein v'alareg el v'rshuz ha'rabim shu potter. In an entity, in a place which shein v'regel is potter v'rshuz ha'rabim. Yet, hechmer aleyem on these type of damages on Shar HaMazik. Your chayiv v'rshos hanizik l'shalem nezik shalem. Excuse me, hech bar alim v'rshos hanizik. Even though it's more kal v'rshos harabim, yet we're machmer on it v'rshos hanizik l'shalem nezik shalem. So malkam shachmer ala kerem v'rshos harabim l'shalem chazi nezik ain't a din shachmer alim v'rshos hanizik l'shalem nezik shalem. Says Rav Tarif, and I'll tell you a simple equation. When it comes to shein v'reg, other potter v'rshos harabim. And yet they pay Nezik Shalem, Bershus Hanizik. So says Rav Tarfin. So similarly, if we're going to have an entity that Bershus Rambi is Chatsi Nezik, certainly, which again is more than Chain and Regal that only paid nothing, so certainly it should at least, not at least, but it should be Nezik Shalem, Bershus Hanizik. Amrulai the Chachamim responded, Dayoi Lavoi Minadin Aliyoi Skinidan. Now this concept of Dayoi, which is a Shas concept, is going to be much, much above the discussion for today. Says the Chachamim, you might have a Kalva Chaymer, but Dayoi! Dayoi means one can't be more than the next. Explains the Chachamim on the last line of Chavdal on my base. Umab, Rishos HaRamim, Chatsi Nezek. Ab Rishos HaNezek, Chatsi Nezek. Say the Chachamim, beautiful, a Kalva Chaymer, that if the entity... If Shein Varegel is part of Rosh Hashanah, and this is Chayim Chatzin as Rosh Hashanah, so it's certainly Rosh Hashanah you're going to have to pay, but see the Chachamim, you're not going to go as far and say you pay as much as Shein Varegel and Nezik Shalim, Dayoy! You're not going to pay more than is paid in Rosh Hashanah. Amr Lehem responds to Rav Tarifin, Afani, I as well, Loi Adon Karen, Mi Karen. Says Rav Tarfin back, if what you're saying, Chachamim, is how I held, then indeed you would have a good question. But say Rav Tarfin, that wasn't what I'm judging. Says Rav Tarfin, Ani Adon Karen Me Regel. Not Shein. Ma bin Baku Shahakal al Shein Vala Regel. Versus a rab. Yet, in that Mokoim itself, Echmer be Karen. Mokoim Shechmer al Shein Vala Regel. Versus a Nizik. So says Rav Tarifin, it's more direct that if you line it up, you should be paying just like Shane Varego, but just on Nizik Nazik Shalim. Amrulai the Chacham responded, Dayo love is a din liyo is kinetin. Marish the Ram Chazi Nazik, Avish is a Nizik Chazi Nazik. Now the second repetitious lines of the Mishnah sort of is playing out that which Rav Tarifin and the Chachamim said. So now, just to speak out outside, there's really two ways Rav Tarfin 
could be answering up to the Chachamim. Either there's some fundamental reason why they disagree within our particular drasha from Shein Varegel, or Leslie Dayoi. Maybe there's a Shas Machlikes. The Rav Tarfin doesn't hold to this concept of Dayoi. The Rav Tarfin holds that you're not limited by that which you're learning, but rather you could do more. So the Gemara begins on that point. It says the Gemara, six lines down, Chavei Amad Aleph, the Rav Tarfin Leslie Dayoi. Is that really true? Based on what you're saying, it sounds like Rav Tarfin disagrees to Dayoi. But ask the Gemara, again, these are all Shas Sugyos, Vadayu Daraisu. What? We should have 14 days. This is by Miriam having to hold the camp and to wait. Moshe Rabbeinu trying to plead Miriam's case. And says Hashem, no. You have to wait 14 days. But rather, Ella, Dayo, love him, and it didn't leave his kinney done. But rather, Dayo, and if you're only going to have to wait seven days for our Miriam. So it proves the Gemara seemingly that Rav Tarifin is going to have to hold of Dayo. So says the Gemara, so how could Rav Tarifin and the Mishnah seemingly disagree to the whole Yusayit of Dayo? Explains the Gemara, Ki lasle Dayo, Hecha de Mifrach, Kalvachaymer. As the Gemara is about to explain, there's two types of Dayois. There's a Dayoi that argues on the Kalva Chaymer, negates the Kalva Chaymer. As the Kalva Chaymer was coming to elevate and Dayoi is coming to say, keep it the same. And then there's another type of Dayoi that it wasn't that the Kalva Chaymer is elevating in Din. Kalva Chaymer is just equating the two. And then Dayoi could minimize that it won't be arguing with the Kalva Chaymer. So explains the Gemara over there by Miriam Hasa Shiva the Shechina like CV. This doesn't say explicitly to wait seven for the Shechina. Asa Kava Chaimer Asi Arbasar. Kava Chaimer says, no, 14. Asa Dayo Apik Shiva. Vaikvik Shiva. Over there, all Dayo is going to do is put it back on the din to Raisa. But says the Gemara, Aval Hacha, but in our case, Chati Nezik Siv. Vasi Kava Chaimer, Vaisi Chati Nezik Achrena. So by us, the Kavu Chaymer is elevating the din. V'nas is nezik shalem. E darsh is dayoi. Efrach like Kavu Chaymer. So says the Gemara, by us, if we're going to darshin, dayoi, it's going to break the Kavu Chaymer because the Kavu Chaymer is elevating from chati nezik to nezik shalem. And if you're saying dayoi, which means chati nezik, that means you're not going with the Kavu Chaymer. Explains the Gemara of Rabbanan. What do the Rabbanan hold? Shiva deshchina ksiva tiskar shivas yamim. Responds Rav Tarf Rav Tarf and Ahut tiskar to darshinan. Tayo v'rabon ksiv krachchina na v'tiskar Miriam. Rav Tarf and how does he finally respond? The whole davil be the alma darshinan dayoi. But loy tamer hacha misham kavodel shalom meisha. Over here, there's a special din for the kavod of meisha rabbeinu avav alma loy kamashulan that you do. So the Gemara is trying to stick to its guns. That in reality, everyone holds of Dayo. The only reason why Rav Tarifin in our case is disagreeing is because it's coming along to break the Kalva Chaymer. On that point, you're suggesting that Dayo is a basic pretense, it's a basic concept. Learn from the Torah. But says Rav Abba it's not true. I'll show you a man that doesn't hold of Dayo at all. And this case has nothing to do with breaking the Kavu Chaymer. And still, he's not going to hold of Dayo. Titania, we learned in a Brisa. Kari Bizaminayin. Says the Brisa. What is the halacha of the carry of a Zav? A Zav is already Tommy. And then it sees carry. Vidinu says the Gemara. Ma Tahar Vitar Tommy. If a tar and something tar comes out of him, then what's the halach? Ma tar bitar, tame bitame. If that which is tar, when it comes out of a tar person, referring to Rashi says his spit, tame bitame. Is tame, the spit is tame when it comes out of a tame person. Tame bitar, if an entity that is tame, zera comes out of a tar person, ain't I din? 
Sheitame betame. Certainly the din should be. It should have a din of tame when it comes from a tame person. So says the Gemara. So what does it have to do with Tayoi? Vamai, and what's the reason why we're saying it's with Tama bin Bimaga bin Masa, whether you touch, whether you lift it? Name a honey, Kavachaymer, the Maga, honey, Dayoi, La Fuke Masa. Why don't we see the Kavachaymer teach those Maga touching? But Dayoi says, no, but not as far as lifting. Even if you're going to say, ask the we don't need a Kavachaymer from Maga. Why? It's not true. It's the Rech Saga that the Chamina Mikre Lailik said, Misha Kari Agarim Lai. Only one that is the Kari that is causing the Tama. However, in our case, Deshain Kari Agarim Lai. Ela Tavar Achar Karim Lai. Maybe not. Kamash Malan says the Gemara, then no, the Zav, the Kari is included. But says the Gemara, we see clearly. We have a mandamar seemingly that doesn't hold of dayoy. And your whole kasha that we started off with is that everyone holds of dayoy. Says the Gemara, midi veloi davarach erksif. Says the Gemara, no. In that case, it's a localized issue and therefore it's not because of dayoy. Says the Gemara, okay. Once we brought up this concept of the carry of the zav, etc. Oman tano. Who is this Tana? The Shamis Law, the Amr Sheikh Vazer Shal Zav, Mitamem Bimasa. Who is this Tana of this Brisa just quoted? Says the Gemara, Loy Rav Lazar, Loy Rav Yeshua. It's neither Rav Lazar nor Rav Yeshua, the Tanan. Sheikh Vazer Shal Zav, Mitamem Magav, and Mitamem Masa, the Rav Lazar. So Rav Lazar is disagreeing that there's no Tama when it's lifted. Rav Yeshua Imer says, Rav Yeshua, Av metam e b'masa. It is metam e b'masa. Rav Yeshua says, Rav Yeshua says, Rav Yeshua has a sidebar reason that it's metam e. Is why? It's because it's always sechsuch e ziva. Is that within the carry, there's always some traces of ziva, of some of the fluid of a zav. So says the Gemara, the obvious diak. And can look come Rav Yeshua, some of the Rav Yeshua says, ziva. Rav Shua is only saying that this Tumma because there's going to be some Zav mixed in. But if not for this, the carry would not itself give off Tumma, not through carrying, not through Masa. So says the Gemara, Hi, Tanahu. It's the following Tan. Again, we're looking for who is the Tana of the price that's quoted. That Shech Vazar Shal Zav Metam and Masa. Suggest the Gemara, different Tana. The Tanan. Le Malamehen. Above them, as we turn over to Chavhei Amid Beis, Zay Vayishal Zav Iroi Kavi Shach Vazaroi, the Zav of fluid of a Zav, his spit on the top line of Chavhei Amid Beis, Vishach Vazaroi and Vishach Vazara, Omei Meiraglav is Yorin Vedamida. All these cases, says the Brayis are Metamim Beim Bemagum Beim Masa. So says the Gemara. What do we see? We say this is the Tana that we're looking for. That is Toma Masa. When it comes to the Shechva Zerah Shal Zav, says the Gemara, one second. The Dilma, perhaps I'll tell you three lines down, Chavhem, Ebeiz, Achinami, Fishel Hashem, Zeva. Maybe it's not inherent in, maybe the only reason why there's Tom over here is because we assume there's some Zava mixed in. Says the Gemara, no. I wanted to put it next to the spit. Tell me, show the Asi me Roy Kais. This is going to be the Tana who holds that Shechva Zerah Shal Zav is going to be Metama Pe. Masa continues the Gemara. Five lines down. Now we go back to really what we would call the main event of today, which is Dayoi. We suggested that everyone holds of Dayoi, which we began by talking about due to the opinion of Rav Tarfin. Says the Gemara, Amar lei Rav Acham idifti le Ravino v'hayai Tano d'lodar Dayoi. We tried one Tano, was not successful. Says the Gemara, I'll show you another Tano that indeed disagrees that there's no concept at all. Of Dayoi, six lines down, and again, because if it uproots the Kaval Chaimer, that's just like Rav Shimon our Mishnah, says the Gemari, without getting without destroying a Kaval Chaimer. The Tanya, we learned in Abraisa, Mapot, Bemais, Minayin. How do we know that the mat of a mace is going to be Metame, Vedinu, Oma, Pachem, Ketanim? Just like Bachel Kitanim, small vessels. Shatayrim Bizav, yet 
The tar of Azov touched them. Yeah, Matamba be meis. Mapa, when it comes a match, a metame be zav, that it does have tumah zav, and a dinja metame be meis. But kamaisi lam, we shall learn from here, bein le tumah zara, bein le tumah shiva. For all scenarios, there should be tumah. Says the Gemara, oh, now this is where it comes back to Dayoi, Vamai, what's the reason that it's going to have Toma for seven days? Emahani Kaval Chaymer, Lo Tomas Erev, Vani Dayoi, Lafuka Mitova Shiva. Say Dayo says that there's no Shiva. So what do we see? We see from the fact that the Tana says that there is Toma Shiva, clearly does not hold of Dayoi. Amar Lei, no. Kvaroma nihale Rav Nachum bar Zachayir laAbaya from leAbaya Tanami Mabat beSheretz Ma'isla is a different Makar. He learns from Sheretz, not that he doesn't hold of Dayo. Vachi Kamer Mabat beSheretz min Hayin v'Dinu Ma Bachav Gedanim Shadayim Mizav Yet Mitamim beSheretz Mabat Shadayim Mizav Eino Din Sheitami beSheretz Al Mabat beMeis min Hayin Nemar Begid Vaar beSheretz Nem Begid Vaar beMeis Ma begid var amr besharet ma bet tame boy af begid ar amr be mais ma bet tame loy says the gemara so that's going to be the xer shavat the teachers that were the din that we're looking for but comments the gemara we have a problem with this xer shava mufna the xer shava must be when it says basar var must be that it's mufa no that these words of the pasuk are free there's nothing else to learn from them and that's why we can learn our xer shava. If not, we could ask, So it must be that the word is extra, and only from the extra word can we learn out our din. Says the Gemara, it's true, Lai is the Lashon of MS. It's true that these words are indeed extra. We have a smichos That's what this exists. the extra, and that's for the place that we're going to be able to learn. Regarding the Tomas Mace. Ask the Gemara, what do you mean? Vakati Mufna Mitzada Echadu. That it's only open from one way of darshaning. These are larger concepts when it comes to Joshua's that eventually one day we'll get to. Hani Chlaman Damar Mufna Mitzada Echad. Lame Dim, we learn from Evinim Ashiv and Shabra, everything's fine. Ella, there's another man tamar. A man tamar le me din my shaving it could be a makar, but then we ask Kashas, Michael and Maymar, what are you going to say? How are you going to be able to learn out from here? So says the Gemara, who the mace now we have to him of no, Mechli mace is Kishak was there to save. Vana gave a whole time in Nefesh, or Yisha Shertes and Shak was there. Oxebei, Shak was there for Hobbeg, Holy Arch, he allowed Shak was there. Peg it for the Kazrahman of Mace Lama, Lish, Mami, no laugh, no ye. Vave Mof, no, Mishne, stud him. And then it didn't be Mushna, Mof, no, Mishne, stud him, if we certainly could learn it out from it. Oh, Nichlaman, there were done me, nay, Voki Basra. We could learn from it, Elman, there were done me, no, me, no, Michael and Maymar. Amar Ram, with this we conclude, says Rav, we have a different Makar. Amar Krav, Echibas, the big Dechab, a Yom Ashri, call Tomashat, a Metamim, Bimais, Leipsuchim, Me Shiva. That's what we're going to learn now from there. We're going to stop over here. We'll go all the way back to Shane, Bissiat, the Shemaya on the next Shir.